हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर इन गुड हेल्थ माई सेल्फ वाला राधिका आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियरिंग टेक टेक सो फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम टूडे ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद न्यू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर योर सब्जेक्ट माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड असेंबली लैंग्वेज प्रोग्रामिंग एंड इन शॉर्ट वी कॉल इट एस एम ए एल पी बट बिफोर जम्पिंग टू द कोर कंटेंट लेट एस गेट सम इंट्रोडक्शन पोर्शन for processors so first let's understand what is processor so friends as we all know right now we are residing in such an era where technology has become an unavoidable part of our life we cannot even think without leaving of it and if we talk about few gadgets they are they have also become unavoidable part of our life like mobiles and laptop so friends when it comes for shopping or buying this stuff we really go in the deep analysis of uh many functionalities and if we go for specific things we go for checking up the processor so why do we give so much of importance to processor so for understanding that firstly we need to cover the basics of processor what actually the processor is and how it is working and where are they used so let's get with the basic introduction of microprocessors So friends what is microprocessor now if firstly we talk about microprocessor word basically it is being made up of the two separate words that is micro plus processor so micro if we call it is the smallest size and processor processor is a chip that is being embedded inside your device that manipulates or processes number of binary operations and uh, we can call it as the brain of our system because whenever any user they are giving any command to your computer your computer is able to execute those commands with the help of microprocessors or with the help of processor so it plays the major role in your system so we consider it as the brain now friends if we talk about where is it used we can say like firstly in the video i told you about mobiles and laptops so these two are also the examples where microprocessors are being used but if we talk about something else the remotes of your uh, electronic appliances like ac and tv are also having microprocessors in it even if we talk about traffic signals there are also some inbuilt microprocessors inside them so this is all about where they are used now talking about the history if we talk about the history friends first processor it was developed up by intel in 1971 and that was a 4 bit microprocessor 4004 within one year intel again came up with a second microprocessor which was 8 bit microprocessor 8008 in the year 1972 then after 8080 was the major step towards the commercial microprocessors If we talk about more refurnished versions of microprocessor, eight zero eight five was the refined version of eight zero eight zero. After coming to eight zero eight five, the refined versions were eight zero eight six, eight zero one eight six, eight zero two eight six, eight zero three eight six, eight zero four eight six, P one, P two, P three, C two D, C I seven, etc. so all these versions are now available in the market so friends this was something the history of microprocessors now if we talk about the road map of our uh, video lecture series i'll just show you in brief how we are actually going to conduct this video lecture series so friends this is something the basic introduction of basic microprocessors so if we talk about the basic mic microprocessors we'll be here learning about 8085 and the buses if we talk about the buses data bus control bus address bus etc would be included over here and we will be learning up the architecture of microprocessors uh, so friends if we talk about this unit we'll be looking at the basic fundamentals and in general the functionalities and the concepts of 8 bit microprocessor 8085 which is basically used for providing users the ease and the simplicity in learning and using the 8085 in the system development so all these things are going to be covered in this unit now talking about the another unit our second unit is instruction cycle and timing diagram 
So friends, if we talk about instructions, basically in 8085, there are totally 74 types of instructions which are used. And for each instruction, our 8085 specifies the instruction format, which includes the opcode. And if we talk about the uh, instructions, basically there are three types of instructions. That is single byte, two byte and three byte. And here friends, the length is basically used for den denoting how much space is being used or how much space is being occupied by the instructions. But if we are grouping this instructions, basically this instructions can be grouped up in data transfer, arithmetic, logical, branch, stack, etc. So all these instructions can even be grouped in this uh, operations. Now moving up to the further unit, third is 8085 instruction set. So friends, in previous unit, we learned uh, the basic overview of various type of the instructions and their groups and uh, here we would be learning in depth about all such instructions so as you are able to see on the screen data transfer operations arithmetic operations logical operations branch operations stack operation etc so all these things we are going to learn in depth like if we talk about data transfer instructions we are aware with the name data transfer it means transferring the data from one place to another if we talk about arithmetical operations we know addition subtraction increment decrement all such instructions are uh, all such operations are included in such types of instructions if we talk about logical operation and instructions anding oring xoring etc are included in this category and if we talk about stack basically it is performing the two operations that is push and pop so it would be it would be covering up this such kind of uh, instruction set now moving up further to the next unit it is programming techniques of 8085 so friends if we are aware of all these instructions from the previous unit now you'd be able to write everything or you uh, you would be able to run the instructions so the programs you would be able to write over here. Okay friends, so now talking about our fourth unit, which is programming techniques of 8085. Now in previous unit, we would have learned everything about the instruction set of 8085 microprocessors. And as we all know, the programs written are sequential. And we all are aware that the sequential programs cannot perform the complex and large job. So if we want to perform complex and large programs, we need to include decision making and repetition now if we talk about decision making it is very useful in selecting one part out of the two parts for execution and the other parts needs to be skipped up if we talk about looping friends looping we can consider it is a programming technique by which one can repeat some specific part of the program and here you can consider as we have learned previously in many of our programming languages it is similar to that also thus if we want to write the program uh, programs we need to know have the knowledge about the decision makings and looping so all these things would be covered up in this unit now moving further we, we have our next unit with 8085 interrupts so if we talk about any microprocessor based system friends it consists of microprocessor which is connected with number of I.O. devices. Now to allow the communication between the microprocessor and these input output devices, we either need to learn pooling or interrupt methods. Now if we talk about microprocessor, it supports both software as well as hardware. In this unit, we'll be covering everything in detail about the interrupt, that is interrupt and its needs classification 8085 interrupts 8085 vector interrupt etc so all these things are going to be covered in this 8085 interrupt unit now moving up to the next unit this is introduction to the advanced microprocessor if we talk about 8085 friends 8085 is 8-bit microprocessor which was only used for small industrial applications 8085 even had number of limitations because of which it was not being able to be used for general purpose system. Even if we talk about 8085, it was not supporting multiplication and division. So our 8086 microprocessor, it is overcoming all these limitations and you're able to perform all the tasks which 8085 wasn't able to perform. So in this unit, we'll be discussing everything regarding 8086 microprocessor 
So in this unit, we will be having architecture of 8086, register organization of 8086, concepts of instruction pipelining, maximum and minimum node with its operation, all these things. So friends, I hope that this roadmap is very clear to you all. Thank you.